In our last episode, we discovered the missing pillar of Christianity, which is to love yourself. If you haven't heard or watched that episode, I suggest you do so before this one. When I finally understood the great commandment as recorded in the Synoptic Gospels and repeated in Galatians, Romans and James, I realized that I am to build my life on the three pillars of love God, love self and love others. Jesus came to establish a new covenant with us. We are not to live under the old covenant anymore. Jesus said that all the law and prophets hang on these three pillars. Paul and James says loving your neighbour as yourself is the fulfilment of the law. This means that under the new covenant established by Jesus, there really are not that many rules anymore. One of the big mistakes we make is to think that the Bible is a giant rule book. We treat the Bible like a law library. I used to practice as a lawyer and we lawyers always would often refer to laws passed by parliament. Section 25, subsection B2 says this, section 51, subsection A says that. And so that is how we treat the Bible, like a book of laws and rules. We quote chapters and verses to govern everything about life. So we end up saying silly things like, where in the Bible does it say I cannot smoke? Pornography is not mentioned in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say that I cannot drink. Show me which part of the Bible says drugs are wrong. You don't need a rule book to govern every single thing you do in life. These three pillars settle everything. Everything you do, ask yourself these three questions. Am I loving God? Am I loving myself? Am I loving people? Christians are generally familiar with the two pillars, so let's apply the missing pillar. How is smoking loving yourself? One third of all cancers are tobacco related. How is addiction to porn loving yourself? Research shows that porn addiction actually rewires your brain in a negative way. How is drinking and getting drunk loving yourself? Sure, there is research showing that red wine is good for your heart, but what about all the other alcohols? Especially Asians. The enzyme that converts alcohol into a harmless substance is inactive, while the enzyme that converts alcohol into a harmful substance is more active. How is taking drugs loving yourself? I don't need to find a chapter and verse to answer every situation in your life. If you love God, you love yourself and you love others, you will know what to do. However, this does not mean that everyone becomes their own rule book. This is a misunderstanding of the heart of God. We make the mistake of thinking that Christianity is an individualized personal faith. No, throughout the whole Bible, God's heart is to form a community. Therefore, how we live out these three pillars should be done in the safety and wisdom of community. Now, you might be thinking, but David, isn't everyone's interpretation of love different? So these three pillars become totally subjective because love means different things to different people. When we build our lives on the three pillars, we are building our lives on the love demonstrated by Jesus. Not just any love, but the love that He expressed when He was here on earth and ultimately displayed through His death on the cross. Other definitions of this love can be found in 1 Corinthians 13 and in the book of 1 John. Ultimately, the standard of love that we build our lives on is the love of Jesus. I have attempted to build my life on these three pillars for the past few years. It has not only brought true freedom, but true change and growth in my life. May you be liberated to truly love God, love yourself and love others. God bless.